I just got a message from DK that a very special package has arrived at the shop. I haven't made announcements today. So I have a very special package that has just arrived at Garage Life that I am freaking out about right now. So let's go see what it is. All right, let's check this out. this for years now. The kit is for my RSA that I really haven't had on the channel that much. It was actually my first ever car. This is my first love for rotaries right here. I got this car when I was like 18, 17 when I was in college and this is what started my love for rotaries. I've been wanting to build it for a very very long time because I don't have a street built. So that is my announcement for this video, is that I'm doing my first ever street build. I'm finally gonna be building up this RX-8 with the Rocket Bunny kit. That is the starting point. And like I said, I've wanted that kit for so long, years and years and years, and I finally pulled the trigger. Big shout out and thank you to Johnny for hooking it up, connecting me with Rocket Bunny, making this all happen. Like, I am so excited for this. And I just cannot wait to start building this car. This car is, is my baby. Like I said, it's my first love in rotaries. I've had it for forever. I packed up my entire life in this car and moved from Florida to California. Like This car is so special to me and I cannot wait to start building it. I've had my GRC name tag on here for years also just because you know, why not? Make it look like a race car. That is the announcement. So all the Rocket Bunny pieces are made to order in Japan. I've known about this for about two and a half months now, and it is finally here. Again, huge thank you to Johnny for helping me get all of this organized. This has been a dream of mine and I cannot wait to start building my art state. And for those of you that don't know how old I am, I'm like, oh, I got this car when I was 17 or 18. I'm turning 26 this year, so it was my first ever car. It was a while ago. And yeah, I am so happy to finally be building this and to finally have like a dope street build, an awesome daily you know, a lot of the times, like if I ever want to get my build somewhere, you have to have a trailer and it's a whole big deal. I've never been able to just get in something every single day and enjoy a build. So that is going to be very new for me and something I'm really, really looking forward to. <laughs> Now that this car is gonna officially be on the channel, let me give you a rundown of the model specs, all that jazz. So this is my baby. Her name is Miley. Miley, because the front of our dates look like you know a giant smile there with a the drill, and I wanted to call her Smiley Miley. So her name is Miley, and this is actually a 2010. RX8 R3 edition. With the R3, you got some pretty fun upgrades. I mean, visually, these come with the 19 inch upgraded rims standard on the R3. And if you look closely, they are little rotors, which I absolutely love. And from the outside, I also added this carbon fiber hood years ago. It has really, really bad sunspot damage so like the clear coat is just peeling and 
it needs to get redone pretty bad or I just need to get a new one. But that's been on the car for a really long time. I just haven't gotten around to redoing it. Oh, also on the rims, you can tell where I like had them neon yellow a while ago. My first ever Plasti Dip job <laughs> was Plasti Dipping these rims neon yellow. And you can still try to see the remnants of that like behind. But if you guys point that out, that is what all of that stuff is. I put my old GRC name tag on this because, well, I had a couple extra ones and I just liked the way it looked on the car. You know, kind of made it have that race car vibe and that is what that is from. 07 was my number when I was racing in Red Bull Global Rally Cross. I will tell you though, the only downside about having my name plastered on the side of the car is that if you ever get pulled over, I can't play the girl card. Like, oh, top, I didn't know. I didn't know that I was going so fast. Oh my gosh, it's manual. Like, <laughs> I can't play that card. Like, I might have in other situations before. Maybe, maybe not. But it literally has my name on that. So I can't even be like, oh, I didn't mean to go fast. But don't speed on the road, kids. That's, that's bad. I added this Megan Racing Wing on here. Man, I'm trying to remember now. It was quite a while ago, probably like four, eh, maybe four or five years ago. Added that on there. Let's see. I think that is it for the exterior. I haven't upgraded anything else. Oh yes, also, I'm not gonna crawl on the ground right now. It's really, really hot, but just believe me, I had this thing straight piped a while ago, which I mean, it made it sound cooler. I like that it shoots some big flames out of it, but that is one thing that I want to change as part of this street build, is I want to do a full custom exhaust, make it more growly and just really, really loud. So currently the car is straight piped. And if you guys do not know, this car, so this is the six speed manual transmission edition. So it's about 230 horsepower. I mean, that's what they say. On the inside, the R3 comes stock with these awesome Recaro seats, which also ignore the fact that these plates are not in here. <laughs> there are the seat inserts that are supposed to go in here. I ordered new ones, but I've been waiting to get them wrapped before I put them back in here. I'm gonna be wrapping them the same color that I wrap the car. So that is why the seats look all weird and like partially finished right now. But what I loved about the R3 edition is that it came with the interior like already looking really, really good. So these are the lighter weight Recaro seats that came with the car. And <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna laugh at me. These, uh, because the Recaro seats, they do not adjust up and down. They only adjust forward and back and then forward and back on the ground. So my mom made me this cushion like eight years ago so that I could get higher and actually see over the wheel. So yeah, you guys can make fun of me. I use a cushion in my RX-8. One of the things that I love about the RX-8 as well are these doors. Bam. I just, I don't know, just I've always loved it. You think that you can't fit a lot of stuff in here, but like I said, I moved my entire life from Florida to California in this car. Didn't know anyone, kind of just winged it and drove to California, moved out here and tried to make stuff happen. That was probably seven, about six, seven years ago that I did that. So um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. And let me tell you, this car can fit so much more stuff than you think in it. Like between the back seats and the trunk, I fit so much stuff. It is actually deceiving to the eye, but these things look small, but there's actually a lot of space in here. I got my helmet, I got my race suit and oil. What more do you need, right? What more do you need in an RX-8? Nothing, nothing is the answer. Oh, let's see, what else do we got in here? Um, I think that's all the visual stuff. So hang on, let me sit back up here. Also what I love about this car is right here, a six speed manual transmission. It is seriously so much fun. I freaking, I love this car. This car is what got me obsessed with rotaries 
the high revving, just like awesome power of rotaries, the sound, everything. Like I, this is where it all started, guys. Right in here. <laughs> this is where it all started. I, this is my baby. I absolutely love this car. Gas mileage, it is really bad. On paper, it says that the manual gets, I think in the city, it gets like nine miles per gallon. And on the highway, around 12 or 13, and probably with the way I drive, like less than that. So not the best, but you know what? Worth it. I, I have such a blast in this car. I mean, like the weight balance is incredible. Like it just drives and feels like a sports car like it just wants you to drive it hard it's really responsive like driving it um i've always loved it like the power steering isn't that strong which i, I think is normal i don't know if mine is different but you just get a really good driver and like road feel in this car like i've just it just always has brought a smile on my face driving this car. Also, what I forgot to show you, which is another upgrade when you get the R3 edition, is that this car already came with upgraded sport suspension. So on all around this car, I have Bilstein coilovers. Let me show you that really quick since I didn't show you before. You can kind of see in there, can you? Maybe, maybe, can you see them back there? I don't know. Um, there, yay. They have Plasti Dip on them a little bit from the overspray, so that is why they look a little funky. Yeah, there we go. We got bill steams all around, and again, that's like overspray Plasti Dip is what is on them right now. I know, I'm gonna start taking better care of this car, guys, okay? That was just an awesome upgrade that came with the R3. But yeah, this is my car. This is my first rotary love. I love this car so much. I was actually the second owner of it when I got it. There was only maybe 10,000, 10,000 miles on it. But I got such a good deal because the dealership didn't know that there was a difference really between a regular RX-8 and the R3 edition. So I got a really good deal on it and it was my first car that I ever got. I got it when I was in college. For those of you that don't know, I started college when I was 16 for engineering, so it was that. I traveled cross country in this thing, packed my whole life into this car, and moved from Florida to California to pursue my racing career, and now we're here. This car actually doesn't have that many miles on it. This has been my baby, so let's see. Right now we're sitting at almost 60,000 miles. I think the plan right now is to keep it mostly stock when it comes to the engine. Main reason being, I've never had trouble with this car, ever. But no matter what the weather is, no matter if I was driving cross country, and when I drove cross country, I made it from Florida to California in like two days. So this is almost nonstop driving. So I think the plan for now, at least, I say it now, is to be mostly stock for the engine, which, you know, might get some hate, but what it is and I'm definitely planning on doing some custom exhaust work on this thing it's straight piped right now the first thing that we're doing as you guys know is installing the rocket bunny kit which is literally my dream guys it's literally my dream for this car and I cannot wait to see it come to life so that is step one step two we're gonna throw a wrap on it really like pull the kit and the design that I'm going for together with the rack, which I'm not gonna tell you what color yet, but you can do guesses. And I'm also, I also wanna wrap pieces of the interior. So like most of this like black plastic, I wanna wrap to match the outside of the car. Maybe like these little accents right here too, the silver part. Um, yeah, uh, I definitely wanna do a few like carbon fiber upgrades, either fix or replace my hood get maybe like carbon fiber splitter, maybe an accent on the mirror. I don't know. I'm kind of just gonna play it by ear and figure stuff out as I go, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing another build. But I'm doing my very first street build and I'm so stoked. And yeah, comment below, like what ideas do you have? I don't know. Maybe just do it a little bit differently. Chassis mounted wing. I wanted to take some like rally inspiration and maybe do like a roof rack with LEDs and make it look a little more rugged. So we'll see. This build can literally go either direction at this point. I'm just winging it and I'm just so excited to 
daily like a build of mine and just like get in every day and love it live it the whole nine so that's my announcement for this video we got another build on the channel <laughs> You can't hand over a dirty car, so I'm gonna go get the car wash. Right, yep, I am being lazy. We are doing this the automated way, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> well, they just gave me a warning about the wing, so hopefully this works out. professional auto body shop. I don't want them to judge me too hard. <laughs> but the car is now clean and I'm heading over to a DTM Auto Body. Hey. Hearing in the tit. They must have got here like right before me. Oh, so funny. Oh look, he's using gloves for the first time ever. Shout out. And it's gloves for us. Gloves is now everyone's using them. I'm saying bye to the art Bye. It's the last time I'm gonna see it. Like it's original body. This is so weird. Goodbye, art as I've known you my whole life. Oh. 